Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. I'm going to do a lager, <coughs> excuse me, go do a lager. It's a lager that I picked up in Tesco um, and it's a, it's a macro lager. Um, <laughs> you can just see it there. It's this one. It's the uh, Biela Moretti uh, Sally de Mare. I um, got a four pack of these, right, for six quid. Bought. And this is what enticed me into buying it, was getting this. This big boy. <coughs> I'm a sucker for a glass, as you may and or may not know. <coughs> oh, God, it's cold in here today. Um, this came with it, so it's free. So buy four, get the glass. And as I say, I'm a sucker for a sucker for a glass. And Mrs. Beer Dad quite likes a cheeky beer moretti. So... What can I tell you about this? Well, as you know, Beam Retty is produced by Heineken. Um, this is 4.8% ABV. I've got a spare one down here. Let me just double check that. Yeah, it's 4.8. Premium, unfiltered premium lager with a hint of Italian sea salt. 230ml bottles. Um, the Italian passion for brewing. Well, this is no more Italian than I am. In fact, this is actually Scottish as it's brewed by Heineken. Um, in Edinburgh, uh, Broadway Park in Edinburgh. <laughs> anyway, there is the cap. <coughs> so let's pop it off. Let's see what we've got. Oh, best before on this one. Those of you who are interested, it's the 31st of January 25. It says that in the bottom there. Like I say, six quid. I don't think you can kind of argue. With that, for the, with a free with a free glass, and what I'm going to try and do is get all this in and then put the other one in. It's a pint pot as well. That's quite wide. So let's just see what we can do. The pause, almost clear. Gold colour. Now then, will I be able to get? the other bottle in there <coughs> let's not try um being the last one have we got we've got finger and a half densely compact daz white bright white head the beer itself we've got stream and carbonation if the camera can pick that up stream and carb i think it's one of those is it a nucleate is it nuclear glasses nucleate i can't remember what it's called anyway but the beer, it's got a light haziness to it. I mean, you can, if I hold it to the light, you can pretty much see, see through it. But it's not crystal clear by any means. But it looks okay. It does look, it looks good. And I'm, 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 going, to, I'm going to try and get it all in. Actually, no, I'm not. Balls. No, I'm not. I'll leave that there like that. Anyway, let's hit the nose. Let's see what we can smell. Cheers. Let's get the old aroma. It smells like a lager. There's a little hint of citrus in there, a little hint of lemon in there. Yeah, it smells like it just smells like a lager. Right, let's go for the body and carbonation. Cheers. It's all right. It's okay. It's, it's not not offensive. I like find it with, with Moretti. It's not offensive. It's just it's it's a decent beer. Um, body light and lagery, carbonation light. It's got a, it has got a nice effervescence to it. Yeah, that's not too not too shabby. Let's get the big taste. Let's take a big mouthful and see what we get. Cheers. You know what? That's all right. That is all right. Um, little hints of lemon throughout from start to finish. 
it's clean, it's sharp. <coughs> it is actually quite thirst quenching and quite refreshing. And I think if this was cold, but this isn't, this is baked literally straight out the box. <coughs> out the boot, out the box, and this is what you're seeing. So I've had this probably about 20 minutes or so. So off the shelf, in the boot, to you. Can't get fresher than that. Um, I like this actually. I don't really pick up much of the of the uh, of the sea salt, although there is a dry dryness on the on the on the on the, on the back end. <coughs> Excuse me, which I can only assume is the, is the sea salt, but it's not. It's not massive, but it's very nice to drink. Mrs. B has to be made up with this. I say because she does like a like a Moretti. Um, that's pretty much what I can say about it really. It's decent, it's tasty. This glass is worth six quid alone in my in my eyes. So this might pop up on very on various reviews uh, with, with some craft in it. I can see me throwing a, a triple or a double IPA in this, to be fair. Um I'm recording this just so you know I'm recording this at the start of March, March 2nd. This is kind of just a, a fill-in video for when, um, if ever it's any time off the booze, I just want to put a poster, post a video. So I don't know when you're going to see this. Probably going to be towards the end of the month, maybe even into April. Um, so if you, so if you've had this between, well, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Um, anyway, so this is um, Bean Moretti uh, Sale di Mare. Let me tell you how you pronounce it. My best Italian accent. I do. If I have butchered Italian, I do apologise. Be a Moretti, sale di mare. Um, if you have had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link. Actually, no, I'm not going to put a link to Heineken. You can pick this up in Tesco. I put a link to the Tesco website. I'll do one or the other. Probably just put the Tesco link in. But then why bother? It's Tesco. I'm not going to put a link in. I'm not putting a link in. Um, if you like the video, if you don't, subscribe down there. If you want to see me do some more mainstream stuff, mainstream lagers, mainstream real ales, let me know. Again, there are, um, there's an abundance of them in the supermarkets. And they're all fairly cheap. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay there, stay safe. Here